Hi guys, welcome to this Jig Instructional with me, Owen. And Rimini. I am a dancer with Claude Zentimorris, Whitchurch Morris and Chilton Hundreds. I'm also a foreman for Claude Zentimorris. Rimini is in no sides. I've roped her in to play for me today. So this dance we're teaching today is the Nutting Girl Jig in the field time tradition, using the Nutting Girl tune given in the Black Book that Rimini has transposed. And the structure for a single jig is... A, A, B, C, B, C, B. And the double jig... A, A, A... B B C C B B C C B B B. Yeah. So this, I love this jig. This is my favourite jig. It's a great to dance out on the spot in a pub space, on a pub dance out where there's hardly any space. Originally, this used to be able to dance on a pub table, so it's great to be dancing inside with this jig. So this jig is danced in the Corsentum style, which is heavily based on the Majax style, which I was brought up with. And a fairly simple jig but it's this jig that allows you to get nice precision and height. Here's Nothing Girl Field Town. So Field Town as Plausentum dance is a nice slow floaty tradition where we can get some height. And in this jig particularly where you're not moving so far, it's the RTBs, Beetle Crushers and the Galleys that will be a bit showy compared to the rest of the jig. So the jig is con consists of a once to yourself, which is just the intro to the music, a foot up, a jig, the first slows which is Beetle Crushers, another jig, another slows which is the RTBs and a final jig. So it goes foot up, jig, slows, jig, slows, jig. And that's the main structure of most field town jigs. So the once to yourself is an A section that acts as the intro to the dance. So the only part that the dancer uses is the last phrase to use the back step to come into the whole dance. So the back steps is literally hands by the side, back step, back step, to get the jump. And the back steps is two little hops, which will other foot coming in front, so one, two, one, two, three, together, and that is the back step. So I'll have a A section, and I'll say when to come in. <laughs> is 
the once to yourself. So that is just a back step and feet together jump. So the foot up consists of four double steps, two closed side steps and some back steps. The double steps are the standard double steps which is a one, two, three hop and the hands should be nice and floaty with the hands coming up on the anacrusis on the and. So it should be and one, two, three, hop, two, two, three, hop, three, two, three, four, two, three. That should leave your right foot up in the air to do two closed side steps. One, two, three, hop, one, two, three, hop. Back step, back step, feet together. And that is the whole foot up. So that's double steps. Close side steps. Back steps. Let's try and do that with some music. So this will be the once yourself and foot up. Part of a jig is the jig section, which consists of some long side steps, short side steps, hockle backs, long side steps, short side steps, and galley. The long side steps are seven steps and a hop, the short side steps are three steps and a hop, and the hockle backs are some fancy back steps. And the galley I'll get to later. So a long side step should go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, hop. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, hop. Short side step, short side step, and that's your side step sequence. The next step is the hockle back. A hockle back is your hands by your side and you're kicking out like this, hopefully not moving too far back or fold forward. So it will go one, two, three. So try and keep the arms parallel to the ground. I know I have a problem of my arms doing a bit of a semaphore. So, the whole sequence will be long side steps, short side steps, hockle backs. So I'll do that without music first and with music. So without music, it goes one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, hop. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, hop. One, two, three, one, two, three. should leave your right foot up in the air for the next part, but we'll do that with music first. And that leaves your right foot up in the air to do long side steps, Side set and galley. So a galley is one of the defining features of a field term tradition, especially in the hanky dancers. So a galley is basically two hops on one leg while the other leg is rotating like this. Looks a bit weird if you're doing it on the spot, and especially my left knee doesn't bend like to bend that way. So normally you'll have one knee that can do better rotations. Try and keep your foot parallel or slightly angled up to the floor. As soon as you get tired it will droop down and you lose all illusion of height. So in this jig normally you'll finish the jig section off with a galley and normally it's galley right. And I like to rotate round it. I know that some people don't rotate, but I do. So it will be two short side steps, followed by a galley. Feet together jump. So you always end the galley with a feet together jump. So, 
I'll try and do that whole section. And if you need to relook at the galley, especially with the music, I'll just uh, pause the video and go back and see how we can do it. Here is the full jig section with music. <laughs> Again, pause the video and rewind and dance along with it. So that is the jig section. You do that three times during the entire jig, after a foot up, after the two slows. On the final jig, instead of a galley, you end with four plain capers. So I'll show you that now before we move on to the slows. So I'll show you the four plain capers. So four plain capers are your hands go up and down as your feet are coming up and down, and it's just plain cables. One, two, three, four. And that is how you finish your dance on the final jig. So here's the full jig section with the capers to finish off the dance. the B part of the tune. The next section, the slows, is done to the C section. The first slow is the beetle crushers or four capers. This is a part of the jig where you can actually get some height and you can show off a bit. So these are quite high and quite flowy still. So the first thing is you need to tap your right foot on the ground. You go tap, right, left, right. Tap, left, right, left. Tap, right, left. Right, tap, left, right, left. That should leave your right foot up in the air to then do two closed side steps. One, two, back step, back step, feet to get the jump. So the foot up and the slows both have back steps to end the part of the dance and the jig has galleys or capers. So the steps of the beetle crusher are right, right, left, right, left, left, right, left, right, right, left, right, left, left, right, left. So you should leave your right foot up in the air to then do two closed side steps. So I'll do this with music, once facing you and one facing away from you. side and to leap off your right foot. So you go tap, leap, left, right, tap, leap, right, left. So the hands coming up while you're leaping off your foot will increase the illusion of height. So I'll do that again facing the other way so you can see what my feet are doing if you're about standing behind me. crushes or four capers you have another jig and then the other slows which is RTBs or upright capers 
We say RTBs because it's the first one is right toe behind. So it's a fairly simple figure, fairly simple stow. You just go behind, together, together, out. Behind, together, together, out. And that is an RTB in the Plausentum style and Mad Jack style. I know some other styles like to put the other foot in first and then leap, but that's how I do it. So an RTB, hands out the both side, back, together, the other, back. And the same rhythm as the beach crushers, the hands are coming up and out when you do the second leap. So when you do the feet together jump. So we'll go behind, together, together, out, back, together, together, out, back, together, together, out, back, together. And again, your right foot should be in the air. Just do a close side step, close side step, back step, back step, feet together, the jump. And that is the entire slow sequence of the RTB. So I'll now do the RTBs or upright capers to music, once facing you and once facing away from you. Make sure that your arms are come up and out on the second beat, and make sure you don't lose your balance when you land and don't lose your balance when you put your toe behind. So it should just be behind like that. There's no need to go curtsy. So, upright capers of music. <laughs> parts of the dance, you've got the once to yourself where you just do back steps on the last phase of the music, you've got the foot up, which is four double steps, two closed side steps and a back step, and it's followed by the jig. So a jig is a long side steps, followed by short side steps, hockle backs, long side steps, short side steps, galley. I always start on the right foot in the jig, and it should always mean you galley on the right foot at the end of the jig. If you then have the beetle crushers or four capers, which is the four beetle crushers, followed by two closed side steps, followed by a back step. We have a jig again, followed by the RTBs or upright capers. So four upright capers, followed by two closed side steps and back steps, followed by the final jig. So remember the final jig is exactly the same, except the galley is replaced by four plain capers. So remember in the foot up and in the side steps, to have nice floaty arms and try and get some height in the stepping. So it should be one, two, three, one, two, three, hop, one, two, three, hop, one, two, three, hop, side step, side step, back steps, one, two, three, feet together, jump. And the feet together jump is the same hand movements as in the slows, where you're coming up and out. And that is the entire jig, just to make sure your arms are nice and floaty and they surge up when you do a feet to heel jump or in the slows. So what I've taught you is the single jig. The double jig is very similar, except which dancer dances what. So the first dancer will do the once to yourself and foot up, and then the back steps, feet to heel jump, and I'll move to one side, and the other dancer will come in using back steps while the other person is back stepping out. And you're taking turns, foot up, foot up, jig, jig, slows, slows, jig, jig, slows, slows, First person does a jig, second person does a jig, and then both of you do a jig as a finale together. And it's important that you have the same timing throughout the jig, but especially in the final jig where you're dancing at the same time. And try and get the person who has more height, or believes they have more height, going second, so it shows that you're trying to outdo each other. So this will be the instructional jig where I'll be calling out each phrase 
of a dance as I go along. This time, back steps. Feet to get a jump, foot up. Close side steps. Back steps. Long side steps. Two closed. Buckle backs. Side steps. Close side steps. Galley right. Slow, speed or brushes. Steps, back steps, long side steps, two close side steps, buckle backs, two close side steps, galley right. Slow, RTBs. Side steps. Back steps. Long side steps. Two close side steps. Side steps. Side steps. Capers out. Well, thanks for watching. Uh, we hope this has been educational. Um, big thank you for Wimley to helping me do this. Well, I, have, I won't have any musicians. The dance notation and the tune notes are down below in the description. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask. See you next time. Bye.